how to set up the auto guide steering on a B series Challenger. If you go to the TMC screen and rotate the switch straight down so it's pointing at the steering wheel, and you look here, and this black bar is flashing, and there's all kinds of asterisks here. That basically says that the system is not receiving a GPS signal. So what we need to do is go up here to the Auto Guide Master Switch. It's got the little steering wheel on it. Flip that on. The little orange light will come on at the bottom of the rocker. And it'll take a few seconds here for the system to boot up. waiting for the system to boot up. You can see here there's active, ready, speed, GPS, path. And basically right now they're all basically blank. Yeah, so the system has found a GPS signal. It says the translator ECM. Click OK on that. So now we're going to set it up for our implement. So here it's, it's highlighted on sensor. And I'm going to take the knob and rotate it to the left to set up. And here you can see sensitivity, offset, swath width. So sensitivity is how strong it steers. So if you put it up to 100, it's really going to be jerky on the steering. Um, if you lower that down to like 10, it's going to be very gentle and it might veer off a little bit. Um, 60 seems to work pretty good on the ripper. And so here's the ripper swath width is 11.9 feet wide. And so let's say we want to change that to the digger. We push the arrow key. You can see how it highlighted offset. I'm going to push that same arrow key again. It went over here to GPS. Push it again, and now the swath width is highlighted. I turn that to the right, and it makes the number bigger. So let's say you had a 13 foot wide ripper. Just crank that up to 13. And there you go. Um, we'll put it back to 11.9. For the rippers, that works really good without leaving any strips. So now we've got our width set. Now I'm going to take the arrow key again so I highlight the bottom. So now it's on sensitivity. If you want to adjust the sensitivity, you can adjust that. Hit the arrow again. I'm going to go down here so it's highlighted and turn the knob to the left, go back to main. It's so now it's showing here the different. Here's how far away I am from the GPS path that wants me to steer on. And it says I'm about 5.6 degrees off. And I'm 48 paths to the right of where I originally set my zero. So you can see the path is highlighted there. That's showing that it has an established path. Um, the GPS is also highlighted, showing I've got a GPS signal. And so, in order for the system to work, you know, you got to have ground speed. So I'll put it into fifth gear here, and we'll get moving along. And you'll see that that speed. Now that we're moving, the speed ready. The speed is highlighted. So now if I get basically he's lined up on a path, really halfway decently close. As soon as you let go of the steering wheel, it says, see the ready lights on? So I push this front button up here by the gear shift. And there you see it says active. So it's steering the tractor right now. And there it's showing the distance that it was away from the, of where the perfect path is. You know, it's about a tenth of a foot away. So about an inch or so. So it's doing pretty good. Um, so right now we're about, if we go here back to turn the knob to sensor, it'll show us that we're heading, let's see, at about 9.5, 9.10, or about 10 degrees angle is what we're at right now. Let's say you don't want a 10 degree angle. Let's say you want something else. So we'll turn around in the field. And we'll pretend we're at the headlands. So I'm sitting here on the headland, I'm, I want to go straight down the field, let's say. So I got my tractor going straight down the field. What you do is press this one, there's this button here for the auto guide called Auto 1 and Auto 2. Press that Auto 1 button and that basically marks the first point of a path. So you can see now that I press that one button, it's blinking, it's blinking again saying, hey, there's no path. So, you have to go about 
at least 50 feet. I mean, the book says 33 feet, but I go about 50 feet apart from where you set your original point. So I'm driving down the field and I've gone 50 feet and I'm still headed in the direction I want to go. So I press the back one where it says auto two. I press that and see it comes up and says, hey, it's not blinking anymore and you're right on track. So I push then the auto steer button and there it went to ready and this and the little orange light came on so now it's driving me straight down the field so go up here to the end and we'll turn around so now the tractor is driving itself i get to the end i just as soon as you touch the steering wheel it basically shuts off the auto steer <laughs> so i make my turn on the headland I'm gonna use these corn stalks sticking up as my guide, so I'm gonna. I need to. So I need to be about that ballpark. Let go of the steering wheel, push that button, and the tractor will steer itself. So it's dialing in where it needs to be. And so now we're going straight down the field again, basically one round over from where we were. So now it's on uh, two, which means uh, we're on pass number two. So if you want to, you come to the end of the field again and grab the wheel, it'll shut off the steering. And you want to skip a bunch of rounds, you don't want to turn so tight. So you just drive wherever you want to go. And you get to about where you think you need to be. Let go of the wheel. You can see that the little green light came on and says, hey, it found a path to drive on. Press the auto steer button. The orange light comes on and says, hey, I'm driving, the, tra the tractor's driving itself now. And so here you can see it's on number six. So we skipped over four passes from our last one. And here's, it's about a tenth of a foot away from where it was, <laughs> or as far as the perfect signal. So that's all there is to it. Um, the secret is when you're, when, as soon as you turn the wheel, it shuts off around we'll do back our original path that we we're headed on down here so as soon as I turn let go of the wheel the green light comes on I push the auto steer button and it guides itself and it's gonna drive here exactly where we just came around last time by for example so, so now we'll do a live demo making black dirt I'm on the field and I want to set a new angle to rip at or dig or whatever. I'm going to line up on these corn stalks. And so I'm going to press here at the end of the field. I'm going to press the auto one button. And see everything went black, blank and started flashing. I get lined back up here on my corn stalks. Go at least 33 feet. So you're driving down the field. You can have the digger in the ground or the ripper or whatever and drive along. So you've gone your 33 plus feet, which we've uh, probably done here. So I'm gonna go down, press the auto two button. As soon as I do that, everything comes back up. I press the auto steer button, and now it's driving straight down the road. So we'll speed up here. So now it'll just go straight down this row as long as, uh, so now I'm to the end of the line, end of the round, and I'm just going to take the wheel and turn. And there you can see the corn stalks that are sticking up. That's my uh, original path. So I'm just going to turn around here and get halfway close to those again, and just show you that. Uh, so here I'm pretty close to that row of stalks. I'm going to let go of the steering wheel. The little green light on the dash comes on. I'm going to go over here and press the auto steer button. And you can see it's driving itself right onto the stocks. And its auto steer is working when that uh, little orange symbol is on saying auto. So it's driving the tractor right now. And so here I am getting to the end of the field again. And so I just take the wheel and turn it. It automatically shuts off and uh, I make a left turn here. I'm going to turn on the headlands, pretend I'm coming around, and I'm going to get halfway lined up on that row of corn stalks again, just for a demonstration. So there's the corn stalks. We're off about six feet. Got the green light on the dash. Push the auto steer button. And you can 
can see it pulled itself right in line here, steering itself right onto the corn stalks. Alright, so now I told you last time we're going to do a demo making black dirt, so we'll do it this time. So if I go down here, go down to like fifth gear, so we're going pretty slow. Turn on the headlands, and I'm going to make a new path here where I want to drive. So I got the tractor lined up at the angle I want. I'm going to drop the ripper in the ground. Okay, now I'm going to hit the start my new line, my new angle. So I press the auto one button. The screen goes blank. So I drive here 33 feet at the angle I want to go at. So we've definitely gone at least 33 feet and I'm still on the angle I want. So I go out here, press the auto two button. Comes up and says, hey, your uh, path is working. Now you can press the auto steer button and it'll drive itself onto that angle that we just established. So now I'm at the end of the field. I'm going to lift up the ripper. Uh, I'm just going to make my headland turn here. And there you can see the uh, fresh black dirt. So I'm going to get it lined up about way close you can see I'm kind of driving at an angle into it and I'm just gonna go down and press the auto steer button and there it goes in line and I drop the ripper in the ground and you can see on the dash the orange light is on saying that it's steering the tractor and here again is showing the distance it is from the perfect path that we're on so it's, it's about doing really 